Hello there and welcome back to the channel. I'm out on business at the moment and it's uh, around lunchtime. So I thought I'd take a 10 minute break and show you this beautiful church. All Saints West Starmouth. Absolutely lovely quaint little church this one. Let's have a little look inside. Oh yeah, beautiful. Certainly got some age to it, that's for sure. Let's have a look up there on them old plaques. Stunning place. I will find a little bit out about the history. How lovely is this? Let's just pan you around a little, give you a view of the place. Absolutely gorgeous. I know I did try this place once before and it was locked, but maybe they open it at a certain hour and keep it open just during the day. I know last time I tried it was on a Sunday morning, probably about 6 a.m. and there was no way of getting in here. But let's have a look see if we can see anything on these gravestones. I'd be interested to see some age. That looks like it's 1751, this interment. I'll have a look at the other one on the way back out. Look at that. What a stunning organ. Absolutely beautiful. This gravestone here, 1679. Here lieth the body of Henry Lincoln of this parish. He married Martha, daughter of William Marshall, by whom he had one daughter, Margaret. He died September the 18th, 1679, aged 60 years. Jesus, definitely got some age in this structure. That's the Lord's Prayer up on that. Absolutely stunning, look at that. What a beautiful little church. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't read that unfortunately because that's Old English. I have no idea. I think it's Old English. That one is 1645. Maybe his wife there. What's that? 1680. And this one, 1771. Some serious age to these interments. But you can tell by the age of the building. Look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's surprising. All these churches I visit, but some just have an age to them. Much older. But this is a small little parish, little village. Um, and obviously the village has been here many, many hundreds of years. And that's one thing with England. We do have some lovely old churches because we go back so far. Obviously, if an American's watching this, obviously you're not as old as England, obviously. And we're just lucky to have these old churches and structures that still exist. This is managed by the Church's Conservation Trust, hence why it's still here and still intact. It has some maintenance to it and good for them. It's lovely to see. 
stunning little location. I don't really want to do any calling out. It's, um, yeah, as I say, it's the middle of the day virtually and I, somebody could turn up at any time. I know it's a small village, but you just never know. And I don't want to be in the middle of an investigation calling out at this time of the day. But let's just give you a view of the poster. And there they are, the Church's Conservation Trust. A worthy cause to donate to. But it's beautiful. Looks like it's been the care of this charity since 1980, so they've had it some time. Even the font, look at that. A little bit plain compared to some I see. But certainly a stunning, stunning little font. I'm not sure if that's original, that looks more modern. Maybe a replacement. Let's just have a walk down this side of the aisle. This may have been as most churches were many centuries ago. They had a, a woman's chapel, which I know these days are very sexist, but it's just how it was. But absolutely beautiful. Many of the old churches have these small insets. I'm not sure what they're for. Maybe they're for, I don't know, holy water, bowls or something. But it's certainly stunning. And there we go, there's a look up through that gable side. And these windows here certainly much plainer, very ornate. Maybe that was a replacement, I'm not sure. The top part looks correct, but this bottom set of glass, I'm not sure. That obviously is original on this one. That's stunning. So I'll give you one quick view and then what I'll do, I'll give you a quick look around the graveyard and then I'll get on the way, but it was just really just a quick visit just to show you this location because it's such a beautiful place. So let's get ourselves outside. I may pop back before I leave just to write in the visitor's book. As you can see there, it's probably a family plot. I always find them very strange, these ones. Almost sarcophagus, sarcophagus shape, if I can pronounce it. So let's feed you around the graveyard itself. Not a huge, large plot really, is it? It's quite small. Although at the top there, I can see a small family plot. I guess we're lucky, it's actually turned into a nice day. Let's give you a view of the side elevation. Stunning place. Mm, I'm not sure what this section up here is called and off for. It's certainly pretty. Let's have a quick walk up and we'll just take a look. It's actually a farmyard. So it butts up to a farm. But not a bad day. Nice little entrance porch. And some money spent on it, new gates, I'll see. And there we go, Starmouth Cemetery. I won't go in, I'll um, just have a shoot from the edge here, because it's not a big area. 
but certainly pretty. I thought these may be newer graves, some are, which are on this right hand side here, but this left hand side, there's some older, older burials there, unless the headstones are just not fared very well. Looks like a little memorial garden up the end there. It's certainly beautiful. Okay, let's get ourselves back down and thinking about winding this up. I need to get back onto the road. I don't generally do this sort of video, as you know, but it was such a pretty little place and you never know, people may enjoy just a short video of a location. So let's walk ourselves back through the graveyard and then we'll tie this up. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I love these little churches. That's an interesting one. 1860 it looks like on the bottom. And the same thing again. These sarcophagus stones or burials. Very odd things. I wonder what the purpose of them were. Maybe it was just a year. Very pretty place though. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I'm sorry it wasn't paranormal or the usual content for myself, but certainly enjoyable, enjoyable 10 minute walk around that was. So I hope you enjoyed it in any case. So until the next one, you take care of yourselves. God bless.